I'm a poet, one that just happens to write in a forest. In 2015, I stepped into a very special collection of trees at the Billy Graham Library right here in Charlotte, North Carolina. While there, I did nothing but write, but they were never my words. They were the lyrics from Billy's Forest. Nearly two years later, God spoke directly into my heart. He said, dude, come on. It's time to move away from the library and get into other collections of trees, mainly your own forest right there in South Charlotte, North Carolina. You see, in every place that I have written, the spirit of Billy's lyrics vibrate the purpose and plan that God has put into play. I never know what I'm going to write about when I walk into any forest, which gives us plenty of time to talk about it in the end. Remember, these aren't my words. These are the lyrics from Billy's Forest. Chapter number 343, November 20th, 2022. News from Buffalo, New York. Seven feet of snow. I can't imagine such an experience. Nor can I complain about the cold air greeting me in this forest today. How does nature react to such a blanket of white? The deer, the birds of prey, the squirrels, and all other living things. The forest floor isn't available to provide. During an age of spoken global warnings, such a snowstorm in Buffalo makes the mind wonder while it wanders. Research shows that climate change does affect snow patterns. A warmer planet is evaporating more water into the atmosphere. Continued research reveals that animals during snowstorms find shelter near feeding places. If there's a shortage of that, they begin to move to a new area. We're talking seven feet of snow in Buffalo. They feed the elk in man-made ways in Jackson, Wyoming. So my heart goes out to the animal kingdom of New York. Sudden shifts in their presence will affect all other living things. We need each other, even the spiders. People have accused me of being too close to nature. It's like, stop, stop. There's nothing you can do about this. And yet, it makes me go into prayer. It helps me with my my meditation. It helps me understand that this isn't about me. That there are other living things that need love. One of the mantras in martial arts, I'm a third degree black belt, learn to respect all living things and living that lifestyle every day, including snowstorms in Buffalo, seven feet of snow. You have respect for all living things. I invite you to try that sometime to be able to say, no, no, today I'm not going to kill the spider. No, today, I'm not going to erase that anthill from my front yard. Today, I'm going to respect their world. Amazing things happen when you start showing your personal respect for other living things, including the long, tall grasses that are growing in your yard. Why do you shave them down? Are you trying to get on a magazine cover? The tree limbs. Oh, especially here in the South, people go, you got a gum tree in your backyard? Yeah. That's that's trash for trees. Well, not really. I I happen to love this tree. It's been with me for 31 years, and I'm not going to take down my gum tree. Yeah, the the little gumballs that it drops on the ground, I ain't walking with bare feet back there. Not going to happen because I've learned to love all living things. Even if you study Buddhism, when you come back, when you are given that next life, you could come back as a gumball and how are you going to face the crazy ass human that's going i gotta cut this tree down it's ugly i don't like those gumballs and yet somewhere along the line it's giving to you shade cooler weather on a hot day i mean it is climate change i'm errol these aren't my words these are the lyrics from billy's forest